Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to my shop. I've had a number of requests for people wanting to see the final uh, version of the garden bench I've been building. It's all glued up now and I'm getting ready to pull it off the bench and seat it and I'm going to weigh this thing too because this Kangala olive is, is pretty blooming heavy and I can't finish it yet. I'm planning on using Rubio Duro Grit which with the wood like this, they're recommending leaving it sit outside for four to six weeks before you apply finish. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And anyway, let's just get to it. And at the end of this video, I'll show a few clips of how I did various setups and making cuts to profile the legs and, uh, and the stretchers. So let's just, let me move the camera around and I'll show you what I've got. not put it back on this is because this will go uh, for an outdoor dining table and it's hard to get in into a seat with a back on it at a table so that's why I built it like this. Towel didn't wait a whole lot. Let's see what we got. Looks like it weighs about 68 pounds. I would have thought it, it feels a lot heavier, but 68 pound uh, bench. Make sure I get this right. Yep, 68 for my uncalibrated bathroom scale. So anyway, that's my garden bench. Overall, I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, I've uh, used a variety of cutters, and, and I'll just show you these uh, setups and some of the cuts I've made uh, at the end of the video. So thanks for watching.
Okay, the first thing I want to do is cut tapers on the uh, inside of the leg. It's, it's a very steep taper. It, it does not have to be exact. What I need to avoid is the area where I, I got this um, mortise. Now, I'm gonna, this, this I marked with a stock square. Just took a pencil while I was in uh, dry assemble. And as long as I'm at or below this line, I can actually be slightly above it because I'm gonna remove some more stock from that. But my setup is a stop block like this on the fence. The position isn't critical. I'm just looking for uh, ending here and approximately here for the taper. So I've pulled back the rip fence and set it up. I'm going to be using the stop block and air clamps and wedge this point here and point here. Actuate the air clamps to put that thing in position. Now this is a technique I learned at, uh, from Joe Calhoun at the Alpine Technical Workshop and this is my first use of it and uh, I'm just going to see how it goes.
this out of the way. sanding because if I need to make some other adjustments plus I need to need to put a, uh, a bevel or a chamfer on the bottom of those legs could go round over but don't really know. My designer designed it for a chamfer. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> 